Hello! Welcome to my room makeover! The project that I did was I, um, I decorated my cork board. I thought that brown was just a little bit boring, so I decided that I would paint it all white. I left some rough edges on the end, and then I went over it with some paint and a little bit of yellow, just to add a little bit of texture, fun splotches of color, and I think it looks pretty fun. I think it looks pretty cool. Then I decided I would make a found object lamp. Now this is super cool if you'd like me, have a million little scattered little cluttery pieces all over your bookshelves and your dresser and everything. You've just got so much junk, right? But it's not like, it's like it matters to you, but it's also just junk. So I took a clear vase, a clear bottom lamp, and I put all of my things with it. Pro tip, start with the big things first, the big heavy things, so I started with seashells. And then save like lighter things like that's a seashell necklace and I put earbuds on top of it later for the top and uh, that's how it turned out I think it looks pretty cool it's, it's got a lot of things I love in it so I love it kind of a lot um, which is you know that's that's pretty special huh that's pretty special and so all a little transformation really wouldn't be complete without painting the room. So while I do have a couple DIYs left, um, here's a montage of me painting. My mom helped me paint, and we got the whole thing done in a day and just a little bit. Well, I also made these little itty bitty stars, origami little stars, and I filled an entire gumball machine with them. They're not super difficult to make, and I did made all of them while watching Joey Graceffa's Escape the Night, the season with Matt Pat on it. Um, I will link a tutorial in the description. I recommend you try them out. I think it looks super cute, so that's just my opinion. Books. I rearranged my bookshelf because I had to take the books out of the shelf to, in order to paint my room. So here's that. Quickie little bookshelf tour. So this is my bottom shelf, it's where I keep my yearbooks and my big books that don't fit anywhere else, like my Greek mythology books, and there's some more books. Second shelf, that side is my diaries, and there's all my Marissa Myers and some miscellaneous books, and on the far end, Peep Tilly Walden, graphic novels. Up, got new books, which I haven't read yet. And then some books that I have. Another book that I have that is actually misplaced. Then I got my story collections. Which I love story collections. I just got into them and they are so good. And then my poetry magazines and my poetry books and then my playbooks. Then we have all of my books that I like. I like the variety because I have books from when I was like a little kid and I have books from like this year and it just it's very fun to me having like Dominic next to feed. Like that's that's fun. Then I got my nonfiction. Well, yes, man, is fiction, but it feels nonfiction. You know, nonfiction vibes. So I jokingly call this my Rick Riordan shrine, but honestly, his books were very influential to me. And then in the, in the midst, I have my mythology books um, because you know, it got me into mythology, Greek mythology, and Norse mythology. And oh, here's my classics. That's a good time. And up is my favorite. So this is my magazine. It's my DIY magazine, Cricket Mag. These are my favorite books. My favorite books. And then here's some pretty books and reference. Um, and fun books. And it's kind of classic themed. But also this book is, is technically Star Wars. And that's a series of unfortunate events. So really, it's only pretending to be classics. Kind of like me. Oh wow. Then up top, got my globe and two soda bottles filled with flowers. And then uh, my graders hat, which I, I love very dearly. I think I'm gonna put that on maybe something a little bit taller though. And that's it. That's my bookshelf tour. I hope you enjoyed. We got books, we got books. I'm a cool kid, we got books. Final transformation, so exciting. Alright, so as you can see, the color is a lot lighter before. It feels airy and fresh. 
there's my bookshelf with the added addition of my very prized uh, 40s National Geographic. Yeah, that's right, your girls got a copy of National Geographic from the 1940s. It's pretty cool. I'm not saying it's my favorite thing I own. Oh, and look, there's me. And you can see the color of my room better. I hung a little backpack up because I think it's really cute. Um, and it adds a little bit of decor and it's super practical. And then I got some shoes down there. Very useful. Because, you know, when you want to be angsty. And then here's the beginnings of my gallery wall. I say beginnings because, you know, I feel like it's definitely something I'm going to grow. And it's only going to get better with time. It is like a fine wine. I don't know. I do not drink. I am underage. Um, but I heard they get better with age, and so will my gallery wall. But right now, I got some cute stuff on it. I actually added more stuff recently. Um, it's really cute. And then we have my dresser. I have some stuff on a plate. It's a lot more organized. We'll see how long this lasts. Probably not very long. All my library books. Please don't bully me for the Keeper of Velocities books. I started reading that series when I was very young, and I cannot stop. There's another shot of my bulletin board. <sighs> it looks so good. There's a more wall because wall pretty. But yeah, I'm I'm really proud of that actually. I think that's my favorite DIY to, that I did. I think it just turned out really really lovely and it looks really nice. Some fancy schmancy close-ups. Hoop. Um, I have the, the some little notebooks. I love keeping old glass bottles and using them for decor because I think they look really cute. And there's that washi tape that I use to hang up my posters. It's washi tape and also poster tape, um, which is so far working pretty well. The washi isn't the best, but it's good for things that are irregularly shaped. My little plants, that's a Lady Macbeth. Um, and there's my little dresser with my books. And I usually have a book, a poetry magazine, my poet Pum a day journal, and a bunch of uh, miscellaneous, but you know, necessary garbage on there. All right, so um, with that little quote, letter board, that's the end of the tour. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you like my new room. I sure do. And I, I'll see you soon. Love y'all. Bye.